In this video, we will cover the Instance Edit feature. Instance Edit allows us to change the mark in and mark out point of an instance on the timeline. There are three ways to access the Instance Edit window. First, you must select the instance in the timeline that you want to edit, and then click on the Edit button here in the top left of the timeline window. The Instance Edit window appears, and I can tell this is the Instance Edit window rather than an Instance Movie window because there are arrows in the top left and right of the window. I'll go ahead and close out of this window for now and show you the two other ways to open the window. The next is to click on Edit in the taskbar and then click on Instance Edit. Again, the Instance Edit window appears, but I'll close it again and show you the final way to open this window. The last way is to select the instance in the timeline you wish to edit and then press and hold the Control key and then press E on the keyboard. Again, the Instance Edit window will appear. With this window open, one way to edit the mark in and mark out time is to do so frame by frame with the arrows that I just pointed out earlier in the top left and right of the instance edit window. Clicking the arrow will change the starter end time by a single frame. You can also hold down the arrows to move a bit quicker. So I accidentally started this instance too early and I want to change the mark in time to later in the timeline. I click on the right arrow to move the mark in time right on the timeline. A few different ways you know this is working. First is that the video in the instance edit window will change to reflect where the mark end point time is. Second is that the mark end time will change. Third is that the instance itself will change in the timeline. If you have a lot of time you want to edit out or in, using the precision frame by frame arrows may not be your best option. There are some keyboard shortcuts to make things a bit easier. To make an instance shorter, the keyboard shortcut is to hold down the control key and then press the I or O key. I represents the mark in and O represents the mark out. So this instance is too long. I navigate the playhead in the instance edit window to the point where I want the instance to end. Then hold down control and press the O key. And you can see that the instance has gotten shorter in the timeline as well. If you wanted to change the mark end time, you would do the same procedure holding down the control and I keys. If you wanted to add time to the beginning or end of an instance, the keyboard shortcut is to hold down the shift key, hold down the control key, and then press I or O. Again, pressing I will move the mark in time left on the timeline, and O will move the mark out time right on the timeline. So I actually want this instance to be a few seconds longer at the beginning. So to do so, I'm going to move the start time left on the timeline. So I'll hold down the shift key, and then control, and then press I. Each time I press I, the mark in time will move to the left by a half second. Again, you can see the instance getting larger in the timeline. Like before, if I wanted to add time to the end of the instance, I would use Shift-Control-O as a shortcut. 